Hi friends, this is David, your traveling tutor. I'm coming to you from the island of Guam. Well, actually the Philippines. But it's a rainy day in Guam today. I wanted to share a couple of things that you can do when it's rainy outside. It's the rainy season in Guam. It's also the rainy season in the Philippines. But there's a couple of things you can do. If you have a day that's a total washout, you can travel to the premier outlet malls in Guam. You can also go to the Micronesia Mall. And during this video, I want to share either in one of these two spots a secret coffee hideout that is fantastic and also I want to share what I think is the best rental car company on the island of Guam Patriot Rental was the company that I went with they have great specials for veterans please stay tuned to the end of the video so you can catch all of that information and the great rates that they have it's raining out or it was in Guam now I'm in the Philippines but anyhow let's get going so we're staying at the Hilton and outside of the front entrance they have these really interesting trees. They look like mangrove trees but <laughs> without the ocean. So I had to film these and maybe ask my viewers out there if they know what type of trees they are and if they could just give me some comments. If you take a look at the roots, like on a regular tree, the roots go down to a trunk and you can see the roots of this just turn into other roots. So there's no trunk. It disappears at the base and all these other roots support the whole tree and the weight of it. I thought that was pretty cool. I had to show everybody what these were. So one of the places to shop is called the Guam Premier Outlets and they have a lot of different types of places to shop which I'm going to show you and outside they have some really cool carabao. This is the shuttle and the schedule for the, uh, I guess it's the red shuttle bus. Right now the mask mandate is gone, which is nice. You'll see a lot of people wearing masks, but that is no longer required on the island of Guam. And on the other side of the mall, uh, it goes into a food court.
So if you're in the mood for any type of uh, you know fast food that you can get in the States, the food court at the premium outlet mall is, is a good place to stop and get a bite to eat. And these are all the food shops or the, uh, the restaurants or fast food places that are available as of July 2022. Thank you, that's all right. As you can see, the mall is very modern. It's nice. Hi, what'd you find? Oh, I'm still looking. Okay. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. children's play area. When I was in the mall, I was looking for a coffee place and I came across this long hallway and I saw a place called Port of Mocha Coffee House. It seems pretty awesome. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. So I, what's the name of your coffee shop? Port of Mocha. Port of Mocha. And you are the manager. Can I ask your name? My name is May. May? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you, May. And how long has the store been in the premium outlet malls? Five years. Five years. Yes. Okay, all right. Now everything, it seems like the masks have come off and there's a lot more freedom for people to shop. You know, now that the pandemic is getting better, have you seen more business? Yeah. During the pandemic, it was difficult? No. No? You could stay open and no problems? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can I have the SKU? Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Hi. Hi. Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> so is it better now that the pandemic is kind of gone away? Is business better here at your store? Why? It went away. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay. It's gone. Yeah, it's the same. How about the same? Okay. Only weekends. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it gets busy on the weekends. And how long have you been working here? Last year. I Since last year. Okay. I'm just gonna go around the store and. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. And they have this nice upstairs seating area. The artwork on the walls, it looks so cool. All right, friends, my car rental company was called Patriot Car Rental. They work with veterans and they give a great rental price of $25 per day. And I don't know if that's gonna go up in the future, but right now that's an awesome price. I'm gonna head into their office here. You can see the, the number, it's gonna be uh, 671 area code. Hi. Welcome today. Welcome huh? to Patriot Car Rental. Thank you. How can I help you today? Well, do you have a car rental available for Yes, we do. What are you looking for? Just probably a sedan. All right. Yes, we do have a sedan. My name is Peace Lynn. 
I'll be your rental agent for today. <laughs> what a cool name. And Peace, do you have a veteran's price? Yes, we do. We do. Okay. Yes. How much is that? So we do have also promotions mm -hmm. for our events going for three days, 100. Okay. And one week, uh, 200. And one month, very reasonable, but you also have a veterans price too. Yes, we veterans do. We can have take advantage of that. The daily rate for our veterans are about twenty-five dollars. Okay, and that's for the sedan, yes. the yes. smallest. Yes. Okay. Friends, Patriot Car Rental provides a number of different types of vehicles. Okay, guys, you know if you're military veterans and you're coming to Guam for you know healthcare checkup, like I am, super reasonable rate for a sedan. My sedan's right over here. You've probably seen it on some of the other videos. Nice car, $25 a day, super affordable for us veterans. I'm gonna head into the back area. Hey friends, we're here with Peter. Peter is, what do you do here, Peter? I'm a detailer in Patriot. Okay, and? We do, cars and we do uh, what's that? Uh, keep them looking nice. Checklist and all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. And make your customer feel good. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the car that I have and it's running good and you know, so tell me about this area here, what, what you guys do, obviously keep it clean and... This side is our, our site for cleaning cars, we clean cars here, we wash, we have to keep it clean. Yeah, definitely, if somebody turns it in, I'm sure there's, you had mentioned a bunch of sand in the cars. Yeah, so if, you, if, you, if you run out of car and then you bring it back not in the, almost in the same condition, like if there's sand in it, uh, me personally, I don't like to charge. Like, yeah. Because we charge a big amount for for cleaning it up. Cleaning the sand. Gotcha. The sand is hard to come out. All right, friends. So if you take it to the beach, keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna show me around? Okay. Vince. Okay. Vince is hard at work. Yeah. Your shop here is nice and clean. This whole side right here, this is all mechanic side. Okay. If they have problems with the car, all the cars come in and we fix it here. Gotcha. Right when they're finished fixing it, then they send it to us to clean it out. Clean it out, get it ready to rent. We check if anything else needs to be done, and then we send it out. Okay. Hopefully the customers like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've liked mine so far, so. This guy is our top dog here. Tell me again your name. My name is Daniel Lizama. Daniel? Originally from Rhoda. I just moved here. All right, all right. How do you like it? It's good. It's uh -huh. good. Yeah, the place is uh, bigger than Rhoda. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of places to see. There is. I've uh, explored a quite a bit. Yeah, there is. Yeah, right here. There's people from all over the world. Man, you got Koreans and Chinese and Japanese and a lot of Filipinos on Guam. I was really surprised at how many I met. Right so. here in our area, this, this area right here, don't matter your race. We all consider each other family and brothers. Yeah. Nice, man. That's... This is my little giant right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, yeah. this area is Hagatna? This is uh, Aniqua. Aniqua. Okay. We're part, yeah, it's part of Ganya, but like, you know, if we say Ganya, they're going to be aware. But when we say boat basing, that's an equal. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally clueless with the places and the areas and the names. Yeah. Just getting a little bit used to it. I was the same it. when I was here. I, sometimes even Google Map leads me to <laughs> dead ends. And I was like, oh, I guess the only place for me, uh, the only way for me to know this place is to not use Google Map and go ahead and get lost. Yeah, just drive okay. around and yeah. see what happens. <laughs> the, only way, the only way not to get lost is just follow the main yeah, the Marine Corps road. Drive is the, everything. yeah, it's the main road for just about everything so here. Far, so far, everything is good. Well, guys, thank you so much for cleaning my car and checking it out and for being really awesome. This is a nice place for... If anything wrong with your car, you can always bring it in. That's awesome. Cool. Thanks, guys. Another one that's nice. Thanks, bro. No problem. Man. Thanks a lot, man. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, but you know, with this, to it always helps. Our customer that Big smile. Give him a big smile. Like the smile you have. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of look we like to see our customers leave with. Definitely. That's yeah. our job. Yeah. We, we give them, we make them leave with a big smile. Thank you guys. I appreciate everything that you've done so far. Thanks. We're sitting here kind of shooting the breeze. And you had mentioned other islands besides Guam that travelers should go to. Now your home island of... Rota. Okay, that's, guys, that's R-O-T-A? Yeah. Rota, okay. It's one of the most beautiful island. It's friendly, mm -hmm. has so much good food. Food that people haven't tasted, mm -hmm. haven't heard of. 
know? Yeah. And like literally wherever you go, you have to wave. It's part of it's, a tradition. It's a tradition. <laughs> Rota tradition. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. They have so many places that you know a lot of people never thought we had. Mm -hmm. And we have waterfalls, rivers. They have bird sanctuary. How big is Rota compared to Guam, size-wise? It's like two to three villages. Okay. Two to three whole villages. It's like putting Zonia, mm -hmm. Nanganya, and Manila together. That's how big. Okay. Our and you can land a plane there? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> Small plane. <laughs> yeah. That's a big they plane. used to have uh, big planes, but. For some reason, they weren't making as much money because people in Rota, they we don't leave our, our place like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. We, the only place we travel is within the Marianas just to either meet mm -hmm. the family, visit. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we always come back home. All right. Well, cool. There's no, there's no place like home. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so me, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do happen to travel, to any of the Marianas Islands, give me a heads up, and because I know a lot of people that they love to meet our new guests, uh -huh. and they like to cook for okay. guests. Okay, yeah. they love to host. Yeah. And what's your full name then? My full name is Daniel Joe Josh Lizama. On Facebook, do you on have Facebook. any other social? I have, uh, or you can contact me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, my username is underscore Dan670. Well, those two should be good enough if anybody wants to contact, uh, you know, this guy about going to Rota. He says it's a great island to visit and it sounds like it really is, so. And if you do uh, happen to retire, they say that's the best place for you to be at. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Guys, you too. I appreciate it again. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Friends, the second place is the Micronesia Mall. You can turn right off of Marine Corps Drive right into, it goes right to Macy's. If you're traveling north on Marine Corps Drive, it might be a little hard to see. You might miss the turn, the first turn. But the second turn right after Jollibee, just take a right at that sign right over there and you can come in and park. Okay, let's head in. You kind of, you walk through this wing here and it takes you to an open area. And if you look over to the left, you have uh, Macy's off to the left side. Macy's over there. Two. two. Yeah. And friends, if you're uh, not sure where to go, they have different information booths that you can go to. Just walk up there and ask them where what you're looking for and they'll be very helpful. But this is a main area. There's a co uh, food court up above. So it's quite a large food court. Subway, Sabaro Pizza, KFC, Burger King. You can see all the different choices that you have here. I'll do a quick walk through with that. And Express.
One of the stores that I enjoy is the ABC stores. Typically you find these in Hawaii, but they have a lot of cool touristy stuff. That's reasonably priced. So So the mall has all these different branches that branch off from the central, the central space, kind of like spokes on a wheel. And as you can see, plenty of uh, places to eat, lots of stores, very interesting. This is quite interesting. I have no idea what this contraption is. Perpetual motion machine. Again, there's uh, lots of places at the Micronesia Mall. And it also has a shuttle bus that makes stops here at the entrance, at the main entrance. Again, it's the uh, red shuttle. Okay, friends, so those are two options for shopping in Guam, Premier Outlet Mall, and also uh, Micronesia Mall. Whatever you'll need, you'll find. And as you're driving on Marine Corps Drive, between the two there's so many stores and shops and places to eat honestly you have everything that you'll want especially if it's a rainy day like today anyhow this is david your traveling tutor i'm hoping that you enjoyed me showing you two different places to shop in guam if you need things or if it's a rainy day and you want to get out and just look around if you liked what you saw please subscribe and hit the like button thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video Thank you.